Hey everyone, welcome back to part 4 of this series and in this part we are going to set up our presentation layer. So let's get started and set up our presentation layer. So for that go to app java.com and here you can see on the block app yt right click new and generate a package naming navigation and one package for our dependency injection and one another package for our screens so based, typically we have two screens one is home screen and the second one is detail screen all right now we are going to create a sealed class for our navigation so right click new cotton class slash file and i am going to give the name uh, navigation item and this is a sealed class all right and it will have a parameter naming route with a type of string and it will contain objects so typically we have two objects first is for our home or you can say okay home and this home is actually a navigation item and within this navigation item we have to pass route so route is home and second object is basically for our detail screen so detail screen and this will have a navigation item and the uh, route name is details all right so now we are moving in our dependency injection and create one module so right click new kotlin class slash file this is an object and uh, i am going to call this presentation module all right now annotate it with install in singleton component class and this is a, a module all right so we create a presentation module for our dagger hilt and now we are going to create screens so first is our home screen so for that i am going to create a new package right click new package home and the second package is for our details so within this home i am going to create one file naming home so this is a file and in this file we are going to create a composable for our home screen but before but before that jump into our main activity and here we are going to set up our navigation all right so for navigation make sure you add this dependency i already added or in the first part i attach all these dependencies in our build.gedl so if you don't have this dependency check out the part first of this playlist all right so now i am going in my main activity and here i just remove this and create one composable so let me just make some space all right so composable my app this will basically accept the content and this is a type of composable function which will accept nothing and return unit we simply call this content all right and within this surface i am going to call this my app so my app and just top of our my app i am going to create my nav controller sorry nav controller and it will come from remember nav controller so remove this navigators we did we did not pass navigators to our nav controller instead we are going to use nav host pass your nav controller here and in the graph you pass home dot route and open a lambda expression and remove this graph because this this is not a graph this is a route so for that i am using start destination all right reformat it okay so within our nav host you need to pass your nav controller which is over here 
and the second is the starting destination so in our case our starting screen is home screen and we create the navigation item for our home you can see over here home all right so jump into our main activity within this lambda expression we are going to call composables and here you need to pass the route so it will match this route to this route and if it is equal then on that occasion it will call our the composable which is present within this lambda so we are going to create home screen but uh, till now we are not creating home screen so that is why it will give an error so within this composable i am going to pass home dot route okay now we are going to create our home screen so now jump into home dot kt and here we are going to write composable home screen and now you check here import this and the error is gone you can see over here all right now we are going to create our ui before creating our screen we need view models because data is coming through view model so for that we are going to create our view model so on the home package right click new kotlin class slash file and create a class naming view home view model this is a class and this class is extend the view model and annotate it with hilt view model in order to perform injection uh, and after that jump your build dot gradle module app level file because we need something which is present in, our, in the different modules uh, for example common data domain so for that we need to implement the project so implementation project and the first is our data now duplicate this second is our domain third is our common all right now sync your project okay now continue with our home view model and within this view model we are performing constructor injection so constructor so private well our use case so our use case is get block use case which is present in the domain layer here you can see in within our use cases it is get blocks use case so that is why we add these three line of code in our dependencies now jump in our view model import this inject and after that within this home view model we are going to create a function naming get blocks and within this block we are going to call get block use case and make sure remove this suspend operator because in our previous tutorials we add a suspend here so remove the suspend and then after jump in our view model on each emission we are going to check so if it is a case our resource is loading what we are going to do uh, and uh, on the success what we are going to do and on the error what we are going to do now launch this in our view model scope okay so before writing the loading part the success part and the error part we are going to create something that something is called state holder so these are the data classes which hold the data in our ui so for that jump in our home package right click new kotlin class slash file and i am going to provide name home state because it is holding the state of home so just create a data class and within this data class we have three variables so the second one is our loading which is a type of boolean and initially it is false second is our data which is a type of list of block and initially it is null and the third one is our error so error is a type of string and initially it is empty remove this parenthesis jump in your, your home view model and here 
we are going to create a variable so private well naming blocks and it is equals to mutable state of home state okay and within this pass home state and after that while blocks state of home state okay it will basically take the value of our blocks this approach make our blog list immutable so by using this blog we are going to observe this blog in our ui and we can't change our blog because it is immutable so now depending on our resource event we are going to update our blocks so for that go within our loading and here we are going to update the blocks value so home state and type is loading is true and then after in the success event we are going to update our block with home state and within this home state we are going to parse data it dot data okay and when it is a error case we are going to pass blocks value home state in the error variable we are going to pass message all right so we successfully set up our view model so in the next video, part of the series we are going to see how we can write our jetpack compose ui so that's all for this part and we will meet in our next part thank you